Hi everyone and welcome to another Crash Stuffing video. I'm Sarah, a multi-genre author of romance, fantasy, and horror books. As an independent author, I'm responsible for all my own publishing expenses and in an effort to make more intentional decisions and to make my writing profitable, I'm trying new ways of budgeting and saving my money. My hope is that my experiences will help other authors and creative entrepreneurs figure out how to spend their money and manage it wisely. This channel is typically dedicated to my horror and fantasy books, which I write under the pen name S.R. Marks. In the description below, you'll be able to find links to those books and links to the products I'm using. What should you know before I get started? I'm a part-time indie author, which means that the expenses are all on my shoulders, but I have a full-time job that pays my bills, funds my savings, and takes care of my retirement. In these videos, I'm really only showing you what my creative business as an author does. And I am recording this audio after the video because it helped me pace better. Last time I did a stuffing video about my May income. This time I'm going to do a savings challenge video. Each week I take $100 out from my personal spending from my regular paycheck. This is to pay for food, quick purchases, things I decide I need on the fly, which is far too often. I'm trying to have a low buy or no buy year, which means I limit my spending to what's in these hundred dollars. I I don't always succeed at that. I have so many obsessions, planners, books, yarn, office supplies, Disney pens, stickers, art, whatever. I, I have more than enough uh, money coming in, but um, I need to start seeing where it goes and stop buying things I don't actually need in my home and have room for. At the end of each week, I take what's left from that, and once a month, I put it into my savings challenges. Once I finish a challenge, I will be adding it to the book expense binder as a way of rounding it out. I'm currently doing a $1, a $5, a $10, and a $20 challenge because those are the denominations I usually have at the end of the week. Plus, I get these from an ATM, so it's, it's what they give me. Uh, when I'm recording this video, I only have one week's worth of that money, so it's a very short video. In this case, I had $94 left, and I'm just adding those to the appropriate challenges. My next savings uh, is probably going to be the 100 envelope challenge. While I'll probably rotate the these savings challenges, these quick 1, 5, 10, 20, um, that one's going to take a while and I'm still making the envelopes, uh, but I found some cute boxes in my stash, uh, which you'll see as this video goes on. Um, and if you probably saw them in the other video too, I made the envelopes with this extensive scrapbooking paper collection. I have a laminator. I already had laminating paper. I already had <laughs> and a box I found in my house that I already had and wasn't using. For anything really so fortunately I'm able to do this on a limited income and this binder specifically is a uh, Kiki K one again these only ship from Australia now I got mine before they stopped shipping to the US I think or maybe from like a resale website I don't really know uh, but I will include a link if you can get it you can get it and then I have the Tombow uh, marker. So this is uh, my <laughs> this is my piggy banks uh, my that I keep the change banks? in. Uh, Swine this Francisco uh, and um, I can't remember what the other one was but she's from Washington State. I think I actually say them. Uh, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know she's if I'm going to keep the, the audio in but um, yeah they're, they're cute. Uh, Swine Francisco is full right now so I am pulling her out all the all the change out of her uh, when I am using cash I typically get enough change that every quarter I empty the pig piggy bank and then I take it to Coinstar and I get an amazon.com gift certificate so that I can use it for Amazon purchases primarily buying stock of the books that I have and in this case it's been quite a while it's been over a year since I emptied her out one of the reasons is I have not used cash so often in the past I've been leaning more into using my debit card which is one of the problems I've been having uh, I will not have a link to the piggy banks because 
uh, Swine Francisco was purchased in a tourist trap. I think the Washington one was purchased literally in the airport. Uh, yeah, I, I don't even know where you would get them now. So they're just, I mean, piggy banks are piggy banks. You can probably find a cute one that you love somewhere online. Uh, so she was full and I've emptied her out. It's been well over a year. And one thing that pushed me over the edge was that I brought the Washington piggy bank home from work where I used to keep it for change that we used in the vending machines when we needed snacks. Um, at work in the summer, they close a lot of the dining facilities. Starbucks remains open, but I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks snacks or food. And the vending machine was right outside my office and typically fully stocked for the summer. And then they would come back and restock it periodically. So we could get the snacks we liked, uh, but having change was was a better guarantee that you would be able to get food. Every so often it would stop taking dollar bills. Uh, so you can see a nice pile of change. I did take it to Coinstar and I got a little over $48, which is exactly what I need right now to restock the books if I needed to. Um, those are just based on what I sold at the May event. I have another event in June and possibly one in August that will, um, will hopefully mean I have more books to buy because that is the goal is for you to all to get the books and for me to buy new ones so that you can buy them from me at events. So what I did here was go and get the bag I used to put all the change in so that it can go with me to the supermarket where the coin star is. Uh, this is just my little drawstring bag that I have. I have a lot of tote bags. Um, that one was a Sacagawea dollar. I was excited to see that and that's probably something I got as change from a vending machine. Uh, another thing we do with the vending machines is use them to make change for the future because they will accept larger bills sometimes, like fives larger, not 20s and 30s, uh, and then they will give you back the change. Um, so when it has recently been refilled or um, or sometimes in like the midpoint between refillings, you can get better change out of them than you would later before they're restocked. Um, so I just keep this little bag on hand. I had to go find it. It had been so long since I had done that. Um, and I keep, I'm humming and hawing about putting a little like decal on it that says change bag because I keep forgetting it. Uh, and now that I'm keeping all my things together, it makes it easier. Uh, some other things are about to come out. Um, one of the things I've started doing because I am doing some cash stuffing of my personal expenses and savings, I made and bought some um, some placeholder cash for when those numbers get high. This will be exceedingly important as some of these uh, sinking funds for the writing uh, take when they hit their limits. There's only so much I need from some of these. For example, uh, I only need $300 for covers. Uh, while I will do an assessment of my plans for the next year and how much that might actually cost, once that fund gets to $300, I'm going to put the money in the bank so that it can get a little bit of interest while I wait for those cover moments. Um, so I bought these placeholder dollars, but then I also took all the scrapbook paper I had and made a variety of denominations because uh, I will be I will be unstuffing at different points regardless of how much is there. I don't want a ton of cash sitting in the house, so putting them in my many savings accounts where they can get a good interest rate um, is important. 
and I do have a couple related to my savings uh, for writing. Um, I did set up a Capital One savings account just for these expenses. So I'm just organizing and integrating these lovely, and I will put um, who I got them from uh, in the comments below. I can't remember offhand, but it was an Etsy store, and they're lovely. They're, um, they're nice and flexible and the perfect size for any size binder I'm in. Uh, but I will continue to use my little handmade ones uh, until they d are destroyed because um, I'm not rushing into buying anything just yet. And that's it for this video. Please like the video so I know people want more. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos about my books, any ASMR writing videos, and more of these types of videos, the cash stuffing ones. I publish my cash stuffing videos every other Friday, and links to the, to the products I've used and featured are in the description below. Have a great week.